Gouging Fire is one of the most interesting Pokemon introduced into the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC. With phenomenal bulk, a speed stat comparable to Landorus Therian, and a wide variety of support moves, we can expect this thing to make some waves in the competitive scene. Today, let's discuss its place in the metagame and some ways that you can run it on your team. If you enjoy this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I make tons of competitive Pokemon content. But first, this channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Okay, Gouging Fire is probably my favorite of the Paradox Pokemon introduced. I, I like Raging Bolt, I ran it at Portland, but uh, Gouging Fire is cool. He's really, really cool. Let's talk about its movesets and just ways that you can run it and uh, some fun ideas I have for it. So yeah, the first moveset, or I guess let's talk about the stats first, sorry. Its stats are 105 HP, insane by the way, 115 attack, yeah, fine, uh, 121 defense, uh, 65 special attack, 93 special defense, and 91 speed. So 105 HP, 121 uh, defense, and 95 or 93 speed F is actually like ridiculously bulky. Um, it's on at least on the physical side, kind of comparable to like Cresselia. Uh, in you know, it's loot, it's <laughs> that's kind of a loose comparison, I'll, I'll be real. Uh, but Cresselia has 120 HP, 110 defense now. So 105 HP, 120 defense, it's pretty close, right? Uh, so just think about that when you hit it with a physical hit. Like, that's about the bulk you should expect. Uh, that being said, the spidef is a little bit low, so I would say that, like, in most builds, you will invest a little bit more in the spidef than you would your physical defense, just because you want to make sure that you're living stuff like, you know, Moonblast from uh, Fluttermane. But yeah, that high HP stat means that, like, even though the spidef is... I say only 93, like it's like low, but that's just in comparison to the defense stat. Even though it's only 93, uh, you're going to be able to live hits because of that high HP stat. And yeah, 115 attack isn't that high, but it is uh, up there in comparison to the rest of its stats. So obviously booster attack is an option for it. And it does have some pretty powerful moves like Flare Blitz and Heat Crash. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into the first move set. So I would say that Anywhere that you see Flare Blitz on this on these movesets, you can substitute it for Heat Crash. I'm just putting Flare Blitz because it's more of a catch-all move. Uh, but yeah, the first moveset is Burning Bulwark, Temper Flare, Howl, and Breaking Swipe with max HP, 60 attack, 4 defense, 36 special defense, and 156 speed with a Jolly Nature, and the booster energy item with Terra Fairy. So, you might be saying, what is this? My friends, this is heat. This is just straight up heat. So, this guy has insane support move potential and it makes physical attackers just super scary to play against so what this, the idea behind this set is uh at 156 speed with a jolly nature uh you're actually going to be uh the same speed as adamant landorus so when you do see an adamant landorus or no at you're gonna be one point faster than adamant landorus which a lot of choice scarf landers are adamant granted there are more um granted there are more what are they called? Landorus Eye running around right now. However, they're not Scarf, so with the booster energy, you outspeed them anyways. And this is a speed boosting set. Uh, your highest stat is speed, but with max HP, 60 attack, 4 defense, and 36 special defense, basically, what this does is it maximizes your bulk. You don't have that like great of an offensive presence, but you know I got it as high as possible without passing the speed stats. So you'll always speed boost. Uh, what you're going to be able to do is on lead with a physical attacker, I would recommend something like an Ogre Pond. Uh, Ogre Pond Wellspring is really good. King Gambit's really good. Uh, any like bulky physical attacker, even fast physical attacker, if it's slower than the Gouging Fire, you will be able to go for a Howl boosting you and your partner's attack stat, and then you just smack them with a plus one attack. So the reason this is really easy to get off is because if you go with like a Defiant Mon, like an Ogre Pond uh, or a King Gambit, they don't want to intimidate you, so if they do, if they lead off in Sin, you get plus one, and then you're able to immediately follow that up with a Howl. And Gouging Fire, this set in particular, really disincentivizes any fake outs from going into the Gouging Fire slot. So if they lead off with like Rillaboom, if they fake out into the Gouging Fire, they're gonna get burned by Burning Bulwark, which is its new signature move that uh, is basically just protect, but, um, they're not protect, it's closer to Silk Trap. Uh, where it will protect you from damaging moves, but not non-damaging moves like Taunt or like Toxic or whatever. So if they make contact with it, 
uh, they get burned. That is very, very strong. So if you're leading off versus like a Rillaboom or an Iron Hands or something that carries Fake Out, uh, they almost never Fake Out into the Gouging Fire because, hey, guess what? You get burned if you do. And if they do get brave enough to Fake Out into the Gouging Fire, that means that you flinch and your next Temper Flare becomes 150 base power because it works just like Stomping Tantrum. It's really funny. It is so funny. Like, you can literally, like, never click... You, you can never expect to get, like, faked out. Even if Incineroar does go for a fake out into you, um, if you have, like, your attack at neutral because you already howled or whatever, the next Temper Flare is still going to be plus two. Or, or not plus two, but double base power. So the partner is going to have to, like, deal with the repercussions of that. Like, that's super scary. But yeah. Uh, I'd recommend you pair this with the Defiant Mon. You know, any Mon that wants, like, an attack boost, too. Uh, and yeah. Uh, honestly, after, like, a howl or two... Even though this guy isn't like the strongest physical attacker, the temper flares and the breaking swipes start to chunk things for a lot of damage, dude. Like it is crazy how much damage these low power moves can do. But yeah, these, this is, that's basically the gist of that moveset. There's a lot more I can get into, uh, but it's such an underexplored mon that like, I would recommend you just put this in a builder somewhere, pair it with a Pokemon and let me know how it does. Uh, I, I'll showcase it in the rental team tomorrow. This is the set that I'm using and I'll also show it at the end of this video with a, a single battle that I got. But yeah, the next move set is Clear Amulet with Dragon Dance. This is just Burning Bulwark, Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz, Dragon Claw, Terra Grass with a Clear Amulet. We're running 156 speed uh, with a Jolly Nature, 252 attack and 100 uh, HP. So this set is the same speed as the other Gouging Fire, but it's not speed boosting without, you know, or with booster energy. Uh, you're going to be using Dragon Dance for that. So after a Dragon Dance, you will outspeed all like Scarf Lando and stuff. Um, and with the Clear Amulet, this guy is actually like really scary to take on. Uh, after a single Dragon Dance, that Flare Blitz or Heat Crash, if you'd prefer, uh, will be doing a ton of damage. You'll be able to one shot like Rillaboom. Uh, I think Flare Blitz just naturally one shots Rillaboom, but like, yeah, you'll even be like taking out neutral targets because a plus one uh, Flare Blitz from anything is not saying that you want to mess with. Uh, I'd recommend you pair this guy with a lot of um, redirection. Amoongus is a pretty phenomenal partner. Ogre Pond Wellspring I found to be really, really good with Gouging Fire. Uh, fake out with like any partner is nice. And I would say that this guy also likes having uh, a Rillaboom next to it uh, because it will be taking that Flare Blitz recoil and it is like a bulky guy. Leftovers recovery from Grassy Terrain effectively is going to be uh, very important. You also do get the free fake out and Dragon Dance and stuff. But yeah, uh, its bulk makes it so you're able to eat hits pretty well with just with the 100 HP investment. Though if you really wanted to, you could go max speed, max attack, and just go all in with like 4 HP. But uh, this guy's really nice. He pairs well with basically the same things as I said with the other uh, moveset. However, uh, it's less supportive. It's more of an offensive tool and meant to just pick up KOs outright. It doesn't have too much competition as far as offensive fires go in this metagame. You know, except for Entei. <laughs> the, the guy that it probably is just straight up better. Um, but Entei is a little bit different. Entei doesn't boost. It, it does have access to extreme speed, which unfortunately Gouging Fire does not. That would have been so cool. Uh, but yeah, this guy's pretty interesting. The final move set is an Assault Vest set. Uh, we're just going to be running max HP, 196 attack with an Adamant Nature. That hits the attack bump, meaning that... Uh, instead of getting one point when you invest that much, you get two points. It's, you know, a fun little thing that you learn when you play Pokemon. I try to explain that every single time I say it in case there's a new viewer. Um, and yeah, 60 speed. The 60 speed, I'll be honest, is just dumped in there. Uh, I didn't really have any calcs I wanted to live in particular with this guy. And he lives basically everything with the Assault Vest and 105 HP. Uh, you're running Flare Blitz, Snarl. But you could also run, you know, Heat Crash in that slot, like I said. Uh, Breaking Swipe and Iron Head with Terra Fairy. This is pretty basic Assault Vest stuff. Uh, you're gonna have two moves that are able to lower damage output for your partner. Snarl lowering special uh, damage output, Breaking Stripe lowering physical damage output. Flare Blitz just there to be able to nuke like an Amoongus or a Rillaboom or any uh, Steel type you might see. And Iron Head is just there because, I don't know, you want to be able to hit things with that kind of coverage. This guy, like th you, this last move slot, uh, mass, nah, I can't speak, last move slot, you can fit whatever. Stone Edge, Psychic Fangs, uh, he can kind of do whatever you need him to do. I will say, Crunch is also pretty good um, in case you run into like an Armor Rouge on ladder occasionally, uh, since they do kind of hard wall you with, you know, Flare Blitz. Uh, if they like, you know, turn into, or if they, if they you know, think that uh, they can just switch in on like a Flare Blitz, you can just go for like a Crunch anyways. Uh, Snarl is also pretty good in that matchup though, but you know, it depends.
That's basically it for the movesets. This guy, despite being kind of like interesting and like having a lot of layers, uh, it's pretty limited in the movesets it can run. It's kind of just like these three archetypes of the offensive, like, you know, set up and go thing. Um, and then there's also like the support moveset and then there's like assault vest. Its depth comes from the partners and like the teams that you slot it into. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about this guy. Let's go ahead and just go right into the showcase. All right, let's see what we can do here with this guy. Ooh, this is actually a pretty interesting matchup, though. I mean, King Gambit does go crazy into size spam. I do have to be careful with a few things here. I think that we can get away with it for the most part. In the back. Um, definitely want my Ogre Pond Wellspring. Or actually, maybe Ogre Pond Wellspring is a better lead for, like, everything. Yeah, actually, Ogre Pond Wellspring on lead here kind of cooks. We'll do Ogre Pond Wellspring Gouging Fire lead. Though, I, yeah, I want Gouging Fire on the right. It doesn't make a difference. I just like it that way. King Gambit, and I'll bring Iron Hands as well. Let's see what we can do here. We're pretty low ladder. I only played like a couple of games um, to get to Master Ball. And I I was at Portland Regionals this weekend, so I like was just focusing on that. I did pretty well, though. I got top 64 out of 500. Um, 50 points towards my Worlds Invite. I'm at like 180 now. I'm hoping to get to at least 250 by the end of Charlotte Regionals. So, yeah. Armourish Primarina, that's an interesting lead. Though I'm fairly certain it just kind of gets cooked. Um... I would say... Terra Water... Ivy Cudgel Plus... Don't want to do that. Yeah, let's just go for it. I'm not really concerned with the pre Marina's damage output here. I'll just Ivy Cudgel on Howl. They're probably gonna Terra, but you know, cares. Who even cares? If they don't, it's just like over, bro. Nice little spit off boost. In body aspect, we're gonna go ahead and raise our. Special defense, and let's see if they Terra. They do not Terra. They opt to protect here. Interesting. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get up to plus one then. And you better hope I don't crit, because even if you do Terra, uh, you're losing this Pokemon. It doesn't do too much. If their Throat Spray could be a little bit annoying, they're not Throat Spray. Cool. Um... I'm assuming they are just going to Terra. I, like I said, I don't really care what happens to Ogre Pond here. Because it's just so bulky. Let's just Howl again. Honestly, like let's just keep boosting this guy up. As they withdraw, I think we're just going to take a KO, to be honest. I can't think of anything that takes a plus two Ivy Cudgel. Yeah, especially not you, buddy. So we're going to Terra the Primarina. Terra Grass, maybe? It's the only thing that walls me. And walls a pretty yeah, walls a pretty um loose word there. It doesn't it doesn't exactly wall me at plus two with a high crit chance. Alright. Go go gadget plus two Terra Water Ivy Cudgel. No, no, that's that's basically what I expected there. Um, yeah, and now my Gouging Fire is at plus two as well, so Temper Flare probably just one-shots. Energy Ball. We're gonna eat that. We're at plus one. Yeah, we're good. We're gaming. They also can't fake us out. Armor Rouge, I suppose. Chen Pao. Ooh. Ooh, that is certainly an option here. Uh, let's do this. I am going to Spiky Shield. And Breaking Swipe. Maybe I just Temper Flare here. They can't Sucker Punch me, actually. No, I'm fine. I'll just Breaking Swipe. Like, I don't have to worry about that at all. Yeah, now this is plus two Sword of Ruin Breaking Swipe.
yeah, that is a clean KO on both of those guys. And a nice little attack drop on him. Weak armor. Oh. Am I still faster? This is concerning. This is actually pretty concerning. Let me think. I'm a plus one Mon with 91 base speed. Ooh, I'm actually really scared of this. I think that we should be fine in the grand scheme of things. Because I think Gouging Fire just kind of eats this hit because of how bulky it is. But I'm concerned for Ogre Pond. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little double. Just in case. And I'll Breaking Swipe again. Alright, please eat. Alright, he does eat. That's all I needed. I thought they'd be flash fire. Goodbye. All right. Last Mon's a pre Marina. I don't think it eats Temper Flare. I'm going to go out on a limb. Pretty sure it just drops. Over this fake out, Temper Flare should be over. Oh yeah, I don't know why I faked out. I had a little bit of a, I had I had a little bit of a doo doo brain moment there. I forgot Psychic Train was up because I was just like, oh, you know, it's inconsequential though. It's inconsequential. They may even see it as a flex, like I was disrespecting them. I'm gonna hope they did, and that not, and not that I just like straight up forgot that Psychic Train was active. I'd prefer that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's going to be it for the showcase today. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and let me know what you think about gouging fire in the comment section down below. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.